On AMC Plus today, I managed to check out Bar Fight, which is directed by Jim Mahoney and starring Melissa Fumero. However, is this movie any good? No, it's not, guys. It really isn't. Stick around and find out why that's the case. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this movie review where yeah, Bar Fight has just been released today and you know what? I like Melissa Fumero so let me just get that right off the bat here. I'm a fan of hers like Amy Santiago in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I know recently she's just appeared in the TV series Blockbuster. She's a talented actress and she's definitely got range in terms of comedy or serious dialogue. She can deliver it all but she's done definitely a lot of comedy roles. Now also starring here we've got Luke Jones, Julian Grant and Rachel Bloom and essentially the plot of Bar Fight is all around Nina and Alan who is played by Melissa Fumero and Luke Jones. They are in a relationship, they do end up breaking up and they split up and in doing so they decide to split everything but they have a favourite watering hole or a bar so to say called the Martinez if I've got that right. And essentially, they decide, no, we're not splitting this. It's either I'm staying here or you're staying here. And they decide to battle it out in terms of who can actually stay at this bar while the other person has to leave in a series of just ludicrous and ridiculous challenges. Yeah, I'm just going to make this a brief one. Basically, the acting in here is dodgy. It's awful acting in here, guys. It really is. Yeah, at times, there's certain shots here that are nice shots, for sure. The cinematography, I can definitely appraise that. And I can appraise that Jim Mahoney at least tried a project in his first featured debut because he's only done shorts before he's done some acting here and there in like odd series like little episodes here and there so he hasn't really done that much and i can appreciate at least he's trying his hand at directing for sure so i'll give him props for that melissa fumero is the best element of this movie but i guess that isn't really much to go on because it's kind of what you expect from her like if you like her character for example in brooklyn 99 as Amy Santiago, then you're going to like her in this movie. If you don't like her in that show, you're probably not going to like her in this movie. That's the best way I can put it. Her acting range always seems to be the kind of same gig, and this is kind of no different. She just shows up here, she performs, she delivers a dialogue, and pretty much is kind of like a go-home. Luca Jones and her obviously were in a relationship, they then broke up. You don't really feel the chemistry with this couple at all at any point throughout this movie even in flashback sequences when they're showing that they're loved up compared to what they're like in present day you don't feel any chemistry for these characters the movie doesn't focus even on that which should have been maybe like a sweet story of maybe like a rekindling or maybe a breakup completely whatever direction that they decided and i'm not going to spoil it for if you ever decide to check this out they decide instead to try go for stupid gags that just don't work comedy that just literally lands flat on its face. I will say I had one tiny chuckle throughout the entire one hour and 25 minutes. One. So I'll give the movie that. But yeah, the, there's just no funny elements here. All the comedy is over the top. It always seems to be kind of like a laugh every minute or a laugh every couple of minutes, like maximum. Just bad acting overall. This movie is frustrating because I like a, just a dumb comedy where I can just switch my brain off and just enjoy it for the ride. I love nothing more than that, this movie doesn't even deliver that. This movie just delivers a lot of incompetence, bad script writing, bad, ter terrible dialogue, not even bad dialogue, terrible dialogue, terrible performances pretty much across the board. And I feel sorry for the actors and actresses who have to purposely act out this bad acting. And the story underlining about this breakup, it's done way too quick. It's done like within two minutes of the movie. And then there's mainly focus on this bar scene where they've got to do challenges to see which person is actually going to stay in this bar and the other person has to find a different bar. It's just dumb. It's just, even in those moments, they don't even build it up enough to be like, oh, right, so they had something really special. They've broken up. Okay, I can feel sorry for them. And you want to root for a side. Ultimately, you just don't care who wins this battle you're just gonna leave this movie really frustrated i can't even say this is a movie worth putting on in the background as like some noise or maybe you know you'll flick your attention to every now and then and look like this you know no this movie is terrible do not check out bar fight i honestly can say to you guys i can't recommend this whatsoever so my overall score for bar fight is a one 
out of five stars. Have you seen Bar Fight? Have you heard of this movie? Are you going to go check it out? Leave any and all comments down below. If you've enjoyed this review, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And also, do you know that I have a Patreon? Yeah! Down below, there's a link in the description box for £2 per month. You get access to so much awesome content, which is highlighted on the Patreon. But I just want to give this moment to say a special thank you to all my awesome Patreons who help support the channel and big things are coming very, very shortly. But thank you for checking out this review. And until the next time, I see you. I'll be seeing you later.